What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. <laughs> Speaking of number two, everybody who drafted Joe Mixon right now would like to take a big number two on that draft pick. Um, strong transition. I'm We've been we've been pretty strong, or at least I've been pretty strong on Joe Mixon. I think there's so much talent there. Uh, as you get to the end of these first rounds and start up dynasty drafts, um, he becomes the guy that I'm typically uh, targeting if he's around. Like I said, there's there's a ton of talent there. Last year we kind of saw a similar thing to this year, where up until week I don't know six or seven maybe he was RB in the 30s and then finished the season uh, RB five um, from there on out. So. We know what he can do. Um, it's just a matter of getting him on the field, getting the usage right. And we know the Bengals are terrible. If you drafted him in redraft this year, you know, there's really probably not too much you can do about it. You could probably trade him for somebody who, you know, got drafted a lot later and is, is also maybe struggling, maybe he scored a couple more points. But for the most part, like Joe Mixon's ceiling is going to be unmatched by anybody that you would probably be picking up in a redraft swap here. Uh, for the most part, and I I'm assuming the floor will come up this week. Um, you saw a snap percentage go up from 59, 55 to 72 percent this week, which didn't obviously equate in fantasy points. He's, he's only averaging 9.1 points per game, um, but it was nice to see that uh, percentage going up. Uh, the, the Bengals, what could really help them out is if you got a couple more targets in the past game, which, which, which was huge um, in his success at the end of last season. Um, the Bengals are 10th in targeting running back at 24 total early in the season, so we'll see how that goes. Geo saw 50, has seen 15 and Mixon seen nine. Like to see that reversed, um, and and then even maybe a couple clicks higher in the Mixon range. The only thing I can come up with is you know we we've talked about it and uh, you know uh, the coaches from the Shanahan uh, what what's homeboy Tree. in LA's name uh, McVeigh. McVeigh. McVeigh, uh, Tree, he's been around both of those guys. He's seen running backs kind of burn out, and the Bengals just aren't any goods, and they just paid Mixon. So maybe they're just trying to middle this thing until they get it going and not just run Mixon into the ground is really the only thing I can come up with. But uh, what are your guys' general thoughts on uh, Mixon? I will say before in these last three games, um, the Bengals have faced the number five, number nine, and number 11 uh, defenses in – yards allowed per game uh rushing yards allowed per game and then according to yahoo um the three matchups cleveland's given up the eighth fewest points for running backs philly's given up the 10th fewest points and the Chargers have given up the fourth fewest points for running backs now it's only three weeks in so that's not a huge barometer of what's going on but those were decent defenses allowing you know decent fronts um so it's you know that's at least a little encouraging that those those are some okay defenses and okay defensive fronts that they've seen to start off with. And we know this line is bad. They, they tried to spend a little something on it last year. And uh, that player uh, got hurt. Jonah, Jonah Williams, I believe um, got injured. So it's kind of his rookie season. And we, we talked about Michael Jordan last season and he's, he's coming in. And so they have some youth and they need to get better on the offensive line. They got a rookie quarterback who's showing a ton of grit out there. Um, and, sh and showing everything you want to see from him, just getting slapped week in, week out, and just coming back for more and more and more. Um, but but really showing um, everything you want to see out of a rookie quarterback. So Joe Mixon's future should be bright. He's paid, but right now you're just going to have to kind of bear bear with it. Um, I, it's a maybe a good buy low window for Joe Mixon here um, if you can afford to do it because I know we talk about it all the time. Patience is not a strong attribute of most dynasty players. So with that in mind, thoughts, gentlemen. Yeah, I think it's a definite buy low. I mean, you can't sell them. You got to hold. And if you can buy, that's great. If, you know, redraft, I don't think we were quite as high on taking him. You know, obviously he's a running back and you'd think the volume would be there, which it, it pretty much has. You know, he's had 19, 16, and 17 rushing attempts. Uh, but this team is just, not very good. Uh, the offense is super young. The coach is young. The quarterback is brand new. The, the whole offensive line, for the most part, is, is really young. They got a bunch of young receivers to throw out there with A.J. Green. And, you know, 
it's just going to take a minute for them. And, and, and the fact that he got paid was awesome, you know, and, and, and that was part of the reason why we kind of backed off a little bit in, in redraft was because he got paid late and you weren't even sure if he was going to hold out. And that was something that, that would might make you weary and back off a little bit anyway, or make you take maybe a few wide receivers in that late first round area instead of him. But in dynasty, the fact that he got paid, I, the, the fact that Joe Burrow does look like an NFL quarterback out there, he's improving every game. And, you know, I, you'd love to see some more targets, but they're not, they're not coming that way. And like you said, no reason to run them into the ground right now. They're, uh, they're not a great team. So I think you just got to wait it out in Dynasty and yeah. definitely a buy low period. And it's not, a, it's not a lack of talent for, for Joe Mixon. It's not a lack of effort. He's making plenty of guys miss behind the line of scrimmage. Um, he looks really, really good out there doing what he's doing, but he's, he can't dodge right. 50 dudes every right. time and and he's uh, electric so if he could get a little sliver of space that he didn't have to work really hard on his own to create he could bust some really long runs off i mean this dude is an electric freaky deaky athlete that he could get loose out there he just haven't seen it and so patience is not a virtue of most dynasty owners you agree big co go go buy some joe mixon if you can what, what you think big co panicking out on mixon in on mixon general thoughts I think it'll be probably uh, 50-50 across your leagues to find somebody who is panicking. Um, I, this is, uh, I agree, completely a good, good buy low window as far as like uh, you both mentioned for redraft. I mean, it's a struggle because, you know, the Chargers, uh, the Browns and the Eagles, their strength, like, they're the best part of their defense is their fronts. Um, they do get Jacksonville, but then after that, they get Baltimore and they get the Colts. So those are not, you know, those are two good defenses and then they get the Browns again. Um, and so your first really good glimpse is, is Tennessee Titans who not are not nearly as good as we thought they were going to be on defense. And then there's a bye, and they play Pittsburgh and then the Redskins. So it's like six out of the next eight games is really good. A decent defense is, you know, against the run. Um, and some of them really good against the run. So it's, it's, I don't think, I think it's in necessarily any better looking days ahead for uh, the redraft scenario, um, unless they just start like unless they just start peppering him with targets, and it just doesn't seem to be in the plans right now. Um, so I think you stretch this thing out a little bit longer. Um, I I don't think you shouldn't wait to make some type of decent offer for him in dynasty because you don't want to be sitting there and watching uh, get that email and trade trade, you know, this trade has happened and then see him go cheaper than you thought like, Oh, I would have paid that or I would have given a little bit more for that. So you yeah. want to at least start the conversation with Joe Mixon owner in your league because you don't want to get that email that the trade has already been accepted. Um, and if the, if the dude doesn't want to, Fight, that's fine. You just you nibbled and just say, okay, let's stay in contact or something, you know. And then you know, I've, I've got I'm in one league right now. I'm trying to stay in contact with a dude about Kelsey who just lost Saquon, um, and so I just was saying, you know, hey, just get the get get a little nibble going with the guy, and then just understand that, if, especially if he doesn't blow up against Jacksonville and kind of reconfirm some of that. Exactly, that's um, what I was going to follow up with. If, if he doesn't blow up, blow up against Jacksonville, then you got Baltimore and the Colts defense has been really good. So there's another couple of rough games there. Um, so the window is maybe it's not maybe it's not wide open, but maybe it continues to grow a little bit in the next couple of weeks, and then you could get get somebody a little bit more nervous. Yeah, you're, somebody's somebody's some like you said. I don't know what the exact percentage is, but there's a percentage of owners who are mad right now at Joe Mixon because he's only getting a max amount of points a game and costing them games. Um, so there's probably a decent opportunity to buy on some of those. But I like it. Like you throw it out there, cast the net, see if see if somebody is willing to negotiate and get rid of Joe Mixon uh, right now because this is a quality player. I, I'm not necessarily panicking if you're trying to win now. Um, probably not the best play but we have seen it turn around at the end of last season they kind of just started you know letting him do his thing and chucking it to him uh, yeah, I mean, a little more and do this it. offense is going to grow as the season goes on you know he can do it it's not like you said from last week's from week 14 on he was rb5 you know seven. it's like second week exactly, seven so on. the second half of the season not the last yeah. quarter of the season so you've seen him do it for a half a season get the usage and they were a bad team then too, so it's not necessarily just because mm -hmm. they're a bad team right now. It's just that the prime spots, the good, the, the two minute drills, geo, third mm -hmm. longs, geo, and it's just like it's just that they're 
they're taking Get him you out some of the garbage wrong time, uh, garbage you know? catching some garbage yards like you said on those third it just piles up or, yeah. it, you got it you got to be that guy in the in there at the two minute drill if you're not getting 25 carries a game um and a good you know and and a team that's good enough to get to the one which i mean like you said joe burrow's been really good but before we move on let me hammer this home to our our people real quick the saquon barkley owner in one of my leagues i i have a good rapport with a guy i didn't email him 20 minutes after saquon's knee went out you know i waited a full week and said the next week came around and i shot him an email and i said hey bud sorry about saquon problem it's a kick in the pants. I have been a couple of leagues. I, you know, sucks. If you decide you're going to, you know, do something for the future, let me know if you want to trade Kelsey. Hit me up before you let anybody, you know, before you trade him to anybody else. That's all I said. Just say, hey, let me know before he let get that. Because I don't want to get that. I don't want to see that email that he said he traded Kelsey in for a bunch of young dudes and be like, well, shit, I would have given him something better than that. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah. Just in, in reference to getting to, throwing the little net out to the there, Joe Mixon, yeah. to the Joe Mixon net, and right. also you know that's the kind of somebody's you know that's the kind of head games you got to play. I agree. 